G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the fourth episode of our shipbuilding series. So in today's episode I wanted to basically start off with finishing the front end of this ship. Um, as you can see, we don't really have too much here going on. So I want to get rid of these large thrusters and I want to replace them with small thrusters and then I basically want to create kind of a observation deck here. Um, I wanted to put a hanger here originally but since I don't really have the room to do so then I thought I'd do something a little bit different and create sort of a uh, yeah like I said observation deck. Um, I'm going to change the color of these blocks most likely. Um, also another thing we need to do is we need to add some thrusters up the top so that the ship you know can stop in that direction and in the last episode I looked at the possibility of putting in some air vents in the bridge so that we could separate it from this area down here and then kind of create a um, yeah, an airtight bridge. So yeah, um, and one of the things I think I might be able to do is grab some conveyors from underneath here and actually have them come through these walls. And so have a vent like basically sitting there. Um, I also want to take a look at creating another room that occupies this space here. And I think what I want to do is create a hallway that goes through here, get rid of this block, and then basically goes down some stairs and then comes into a room that is basically here. And then whatever else we have time for, we'll, we'll get stuck into that. All right, well, let's make a start on the episode and let's start modifying the front of the ship. All right, so as I said before, I want to get rid of these thrusters. All right, so let's start by deleting all of this stuff. Hmm, let's go back quite a bit. So, what I want to do is put some small ion thrusters here instead of the large ion thrusters. That is a little bit boring though, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stagger them. So put some blocks here like that. Get our thruster again. And we'll put some like that. But what I'll do is I'll get some of these blocks here. this so let's put in I want to make it kind of the same as on this side on that side so let's just make it the same as the other side try that block there That put a two by one slope there, and then we can put in our wall. Cool. 
I think that looks pretty good. Looks a little bit more interesting. Um, these thrusters are somewhat protected. All right, so the observation deck that I want to kind of create, I want to make it a little bit like the um, uh, the cockpit that I had on the Nomad. And so to do that, what I'm going to do is place some windows probably here. So let's grab our windows. And I want that to be on the outside. Corner window here. Put that there like that. Another one there like that. Swap to the inverted of the same window. Hmm. Um, What I'll do is I'll make a door that goes under here so that we can exit out of the front. Um, I'd love to create some sort of a ramp that goes down to the floor as well. Um, that's something I'll have to have a look at later, I guess. Um, Alright, so let's try and make this. this in a bit. Need to create kind of a floor here, so just do that. Let's put a block there like that. in some two by one faces. frustrating how this game it just cannot seem to save the um, my character's suit it keeps changing but I guess they'll fix that soon enough at least I hope they will okay and then we have the start of our observation deck now I could create the door there. But I think I might make it like a mirror image of this down below here. So let's just grab some some of these blocks here. Um, do the same there. I'll put in one of these. One block further again. Put in some two by one bases here. And I think what I'll do is I will place my door right here. Place the door there. And I'll place a secondary door there. Pretty good. 
I wonder if I can fill this gap in here. In fact, I may add some blocks here to kind of dress it up a little bit. Uh, let's go one of these. Try and fit in with the rest of the ship a little bit. Just a little bit of protection there. I think that really dresses up the front of the ship quite a bit. Cool. Alright, so... Let's try and finish this room off a little bit. I think... I want to I want to seal off this area from this area here. Um, now I, I want to kind of preserve this walkway so that we can go forward around this corner and we could go down some stairs, the old place here. We can get under here, repair these conveyors. We can get above and repair the conveyors that way. Um, and in fact, before I go too far, I'm going to place some lights in here so that we can see what we are doing. Awesome, that looks so much better. Okay, now I can actually see what I'm doing. Right, so let's grab some interior blocks. Get rid of the light that I just put in. It's probably not the best thing, but and then what we can do is we can create a door that goes there. Now um, let's turn our lights back on. Let's get rid of these blocks here and those there. And what we're going to have to do, or what I want to do, is I need to seal this section off from obviously this section, and then obviously this section here as well. So uh, I will need to place a door that goes here, and I will most likely need to place another door that goes there. Now the thing is I want to be able to I want to be able to access this lower section here to be able to exit this door and exit out the front of the ship um, and then I also want to be able to um, enter the observation deck as well so if I put stairs here like, because again, I want to kind of fit this in with the rest of the build. So if I put stairs there like that, then I'm not really going to have the opportunity to move that way unless I shorten this by one block. Um, but I don't know if I really want to do that. I think first what I'll start off by doing is filling in this area here. In fact, let's fill this in with interior blocks.
Because as I said before, interior walls are quite a bit lighter than light armor blocks in this game. So. In fact, what I think I will do is I will get rid of this block. I will place my stairs there. And then from there I can grab some more interior blocks. I can place one there one there, and then I can put in some stairs again, that go like that, but then I kind of want to, what's behind here, okay, well, that's not too bad, so I think I might just place some these blocks here. Mm, in fact, I might get some two by ones again. I love my two by one blocks. I think that looks a fair bit better. Right, now, so I can access this door here. Down here, exit the front of the ship, through there. And then we also have our observation deck sorted. And then we can put something in here, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that space just yet. So, yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then I think we could even create another floor here. And in fact, I might do that. Um, we'll probably make this floor this color. put a regular square block here to fill in that space and then let's put in another number five. Oh cool, that looks pretty good. And then I need to get rid of this block here, these two blocks here. Observation deck. Very nice. And I could even place, I could use this conveyor here to go up to here, and I could even place a, um, a med bay in there. 
So, but I think what I'll do first is we'll put some railings in here. Just put that block down. Um, in fact, I'm going to get rid of these two blocks, and I'm just going to replace them with. give this a bit of an interesting shape so let's go like that then like that now the floor is nice and even and we don't have these ugly lines everywhere in fact I am going to change these to regular blocks because I'm really not liking that line. It's really annoying. Um, no. no, no, no. Let's change these again. So let's put in that block like that. Um, another two by one base. And yeah, I think that looks a lot better. can kind of fall down there, but that doesn't really matter too much. Right. And let's create some interesting shapes here. Just leave it like that for now. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's put in some railings. Awesome. And in fact, I could probably get away with forward again. Um, so maybe have one that goes there. And have some more windows. Pretty good. Have one more block worth of space. This gives us quite a good view out the front of the ship. And it's sealed off from the rest of the ship so that if these windows ever get blown out, then it doesn't really matter too much. And we can just go down these stairs here in through here and we are golden awesome and as you can see I've added a gravity generator because the lack of gravity was really really annoying we've got that okay so I think what I need to do now is figure out where I'm going to put some thrusters on the top of the ship so that we have access to so that I can start creating kind of a room so I've been playing around with this ship a little bit before um, 
I do play around with the ship a little bit off camera so that I don't kind of sit here and I'm trying to figure out things while you guys are you know, watching the video because I'm sure you guys don't want to see me flying around the ship for two and a half hours while I figure out exactly where I'm going to put what. Um, so I kind of streamline the process a little bit so that um, yeah, there's a little bit more action and less umming and ahhing. So I think what I'm going to do <coughs> make these army camo black. And I will put the thrusters there. In fact, I don't know if I will how many have we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Might not put any thrusters here. Might just put a regular rolled armor block there. And then my bridge window will go just behind here and it will probably end there like that. So. What I usually like to do with my bridge windows is, um, which way is this face? Mm. Like to put them something like that, so that it's it's kind of protected. So I, I guess I could put some thrusters there, and I could actually put all these together, but. I think that looks a little bit better, breaks it up a little bit. Um, and also, I want to kind of fix up these areas here um, because they do look a little bland and a little boring. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and connect up these thrusters first, and then we'll go ahead and make the ship look pretty in this after that. So let's jump in here. And we will place some, so obviously we're going to need some conveyors here. Make sure these are orientated correctly. Yep, that'll do. That's one there. So I don't think I'm going to be able to use this space for anything. Um, I may actually put some... Maybe what I can do is I can put some weapons here in a bit of a line, but I don't know if I really want to. I would like to put some weapons maybe along here. Maybe like one there, one there. Maybe one up the front here, maybe even, even like one there. Um, I don't want to go overboard with weapons because, I mean, technically this is like a transport ship. Um, but at the same time, I don't want it to be able to be destroyed by the first little drone that comes along. So it needs to be able to defend itself somewhat. Um, anyway, I'm kind of getting off topic here. So <laughs> we'll enter back into here and we'll finish off these thrusters. Now not sure where I can actually grab some, oh well, that's pretty simple, I can just do it from there. So what we could do is we could get some more O2 H2 generators. some there like that and then basically put in a conveyor there and then some tubes that would then connect them all um, I don't know if I want to have that many O2 H2 generators um, I could put in some in fact 
Let's put in some tanks. So we could use some small hydrogen tanks and we could make them this color. So we'll put these the right way up. two small hydrogen tanks like that and then I'll also put in another two oxygen tanks like that extends our fuel range a tiny bit and then let's put in one of these here ship so I can get out. Let's put in our thruster again. Cool. Let's connect up the rest of them. Now, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start using tubes. Um, I always try and use tubes wherever I can because it tries to calculate all of those points on the um, on the conveyors. Um, so the more conveyors you have, the slower your ship is going to run, or the slower the game is going to run. Um, it doesn't really start becoming a problem until you have massive amounts of conveyors on your ship. Um, but still, I always like to keep it to a minimum if I can. Um, and then what I will do... Cool. All right, so... Let's leave it at that. And as I said before, I want to kind of create a room here. I'm not too sure what I'll put in that room, but nevertheless, I want to create it anyway. Um, so what I kind of need to do. All right, so we can place a door right here. So we'll place one like, that. Uh, but first, make it the right colour. Alright, and um, so what I thought about doing before was actually creating kind of a, um, a sealed passageway that would extend across here and then go down here, um, down to the jump drives, but I don't think I'm really going to be able to do that. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish this off with catwalks. So we'll place a door there on either side. And then I will select my catwalks. And I will make the catwalks grey. So let's select a double railing catwalk. get rid of these lights too. So I think I'm going to be struggling a little bit to find places to put lights. Um, and then what I can do as well is I can use the side of this hydrogen tank as a mounting point for these, these stairs. So we'll grab some stairs like that. And then before I get too far, I want to put a wall here as well. Um, so I'll just put a wall in just so I know what I'm dealing with here. Um, so I might make this out of sci-fi interior blocks. Uh, so which way can we orientate these? I think I may orientate them like this, but I'll turn mirror mode off. Because if 
right if I leave mirror mode on the blocks will end up being spun around that way on, on this side so I think that looks a little bit better and that way they all match up on this side as well all right so we'll just go ahead and we'll put I'll put one block in there to make it a little bit different something like that all right so now what I will do is I will put in a catwalk and I think I'll extend the catwalk out to here um, just because I have an extra block worth of space um, so I might just delete that block there uh, yeah and then I shall turn my light back on so we can see what we're doing I'll grab this color here I'm going to grab a end piece or a single wall catwalk and then I'll grab an end piece catwalk for here I'll put that there I'll turn mirror mode back on uh, all right I'm gonna put this block there okay and then I think what I'll do is I'll come out one block here and then I'll place my door here I did think about placing two individual doors on either side, but I think it'll just be a lot easier if I just put one door in and um, I'll just use a little bit less resources as well because the build already has quite a few doors in it, so I don't want to go too overboard with the doors. Um, so let's go and put one of these single railed catwalks in. I will put in a right angle piece there then I will put in a single wall catwalk um, oh wow that's trippy put that there and then I will put in another catwalk like that and then what I can do is I can grab a door a door there and I could make this catwalks I could make it blocks or I could make it interior walls so but I think what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna try out um, I might try out half armored blocks and just see how we go with that so I could go like this so let's grab a two by one slope as per usual, put in some more blocks there, blocks like that, mm. that's very similar how I had my other ship set up, the Atlas. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work in this scenario. So, if we come along here. So, I just, I don't know how airtight that's going to be. In fact, I don't even think it will be airtight at all. And then also, it does look a little bit bland and boring. So, I think what I'll do instead is I will get rid of these blocks. I'm going to try and put in some interior walls. I'm going to make them this colour as well, but I'm going to orientate them kind of like... So we could use these ones. Ah, oh, awesome. So that's the way I want them. Put them there like that. them around so the pipes are going this way ah no this one I will spin around once more orientate it like that like that and like that and we will go and orientate these blocks like that a little bit dark in here but I 
think that looks pretty good. So I have nice access to these. I have access to all of the jump drives, both on this side and on this side. I can use my jetpack if I really want to. Um, mm. The only thing I don't like is I would love to be able to get some stairs from, let's see if I can get through here. I would love to get some stairs from here to down there, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the opportunity to do that. Um, I don't know if there's enough space. What I could do is I could use half stairs, um, but as I said before, half stairs for some reason, they're very weird and especially when you're on an on an angle and the gravity isn't like totally like the ship isn't totally flat on the ground then you have an issue where you get stuck on those half stairs so I could build a staircase that went all the way down there um, but I don't know if I do I will do that because I'm not sure how useful it's actually going to be so I may just leave that um, is that the same on either side? No, it's not. All right, let's get rid of that block then. And then what I may do is let's put in some blocks like this. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit neater. And then we have plenty of room for lights and all sorts of stuff on the roof. Um, because we need plenty of them in this area. Um, Alright, cool. So, and then what I will do, I will place another door here. Um, I might turn mirror mode off just so I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, that's much better. Yep, cool. So, now what I can do is I can use these vents here, or these conveyors, to create some vents. Um, and then we can oxygenate this room, or pressurize this room, I should say. Um, now I don't know if I want to create a passageway that goes through here as well. Um, I could... Um, seal this off and create another room here. Um, I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I think I will actually create a room here. Um, so first of all, let's put in a door. Another door. I keep selecting the wrong block. Is very annoying. Um, there's nothing there, so I think I'll just place a regular block in that space there. Make it army camouflage black. Let's put in another door. And then can create another line of interior blocks that go in the same direction as the last one. Just put them there like that. that. Let's grab some 2 by one bases. Put that like that. Like that. And then maybe like that. Mm, that doesn't look too bad. But we can always change that later. Oh no! 
I didn't have mirror mode turned on. Oh well, let's go do this and we shall be back in a second. Cool. I think that looks pretty decent. Then we can access this area. And in fact, I am going to change this block here to a different type of block. I'll do that right now. So we can access our cargo containers through here. All six of them. And then I need to kind of figure out something to put down here. Although there isn't really much that I can put down here, to be honest. Can't quite jump that high. So then what I would like to do is we could put a, a door here, another door, and in fact I could just make this um, like a catwalk, let's fill this in, so we could do something like this. In a how do I want to do this? Um, I think one of the, one thing I could do is we could make a network of catwalks that go around these ports, so that we make it interesting, but it's still kind of useful at the same time. So I might just put that there like that. Let's put that there like that, like that. Um, we can put in a catwalk like that, catwalk like that, that, then I will put in some right angle catwalks like that and then I will put on some right angled catwalks again like that and like that. Then I have access to all of those cargo containers from this level as well. I will put one there like that. Let's put in another one like... I think I may go like that. Put one of these in. Uh, no, I'm going to have to go one of them. And then... Another end piece catwalk like that. Then I'll put in another catwalk with railings on either side there. I will do the exact same thing that I did there. Put one of these. Put another catwalk like that. Put another catwalk like that. And hmm, that's unfortunate ends up being in the same spot as the light once again uh, and then I'll put a catwalk like that and then what I can do so basically if we want to we can come into here we can access this cargo container here access this one here roam around here and then I can make a pipe that goes from here to there and this will be for some of our weapons and I could also do the same for up here as well um, these conveyors here aren't really used for anything so I may just leave them the way that they are um, in fact I could probably join these two up and I might just do that um, hmm have to have a little bit of a play with that. In the meantime, what we can do is we can place a door here, another door there like that, uh, 
Um, then let's get rid of these. Let's put in another catwalk here. Um, I'll put in an end piece here that goes like that. I will place another end piece like that. And then I will place in some grated stairs. Uh, those ones here. Are they orientated the correct way? Yes, they are. Fantastic. I think that looks pretty good. We can access the observation deck from there as well. And then we can also access the middle deck. And then we can access the sub deck through. Ah, getting a bit lost here. I oh, know I can't, that's right. This only goes to the front. Um, so, but can I create a doorway here? So I think what I'll do is I'll get rid of this block here and then I want to put a door here. So uh, the only problem is I need to put two doors in here. So um, one door is going to occupy this space here. Um, another door will occupy this space here. So let's just let's just go ahead and actually place these doors in. Uh, let's put in the sliding door like that. And then another sliding door like that. In fact, I'll have to delete that door. Um, I'll put in, put the sliding door back. Now, the only issue is that I kind of, I want to leave this walkway here, but the problem with that is that um, I'm going to block off this doorway, so I'm not really going to be able to get out of this door if I put this block there obviously so what I can do is I can put some catwalks so I can put them occupying this space here but then it won't let me put any blocks or any lights or any sensors in this kind of block space here this one block space so Another thing I could do is I could put them here and I could put them upside down like that. But as you can see, there's quite a large gap there and it, it kind of looks a little bit ugly. So I think alternatively what we can do is we can head down these stairs and what we can do is we can get rid of all of these blocks. And I think what I'll do instead is I will put in some two by ones. And you guys know I love my two by ones. So let's go and put a two by one there. Um, and let's put in some half blocks. And then what I can do is I can put in that block like that. So we should still be able to get out that door and then we still have a floor here but then I can put a sensor here for that door I can put a sensor under here for that door um, and then what else we can do is we can put some stairs that go up like this so let's see if we can get up and down those stairs so it's a little bit close, but I think that works kind of well. Awesome. Let's just see what this looks like up here. 
Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Um, Alright. So, while we're down here, let's go and change these blocks here. So, I said before that I wanted to change these to these blocks here. So, I want to make them the same as this. Um, let's just get a better angle on this. Put them there like that. Yeah, and I think that looks a little bit better. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's get rid of this block here and we'll do the same on this side. Um, oh no, had it the correct orientation there. There we go, cool. Alright, so that looks a, little, a lot better. So now there's a full wall here, so I can't fall off the stairs this way. Um, but what I would like to do is I would kind of like to put a railing here, but um, obviously there isn't really much space to do so. So what I could do is I could put some window blocks here. So I could put a window there like that. Um, and then it kind of blocks us off from there, but then we have this gap here. So hmm. I think I might actually just get rid of this whole thing. Um, and we'll just have to live with the fact that this is open. And then what I'll do is I'll place some air vents here. So I think what I can do is I can put a vent here like that. And then I can grab a steel catwalk plate and put it there to hide that conveyor. And then we have a nice clean look. Awesome. So let's close these doors and see if this all seals up. Mm. Let's seal up these doors up the top here. Awesome. So at least we know that this space is airtight. Um, I don't know why it's not filling with oxygen. Um, hmm. Probably because I don't actually have those connected to any oxygen tanks. That would probably be a good reason why. Uh, let's get rid of this block because we no longer need that. Um, this is where I was going to potentially put a weapon, but since we aren't going to do that, then I think we can just go ahead and get rid of that. Um, in fact, what I may do is just get rid of that block there as well. Um, I will turn this into one of these and I will put a full block here and then let's put in one of these there. those there. And then let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's place that there. And then let's place that there. And I think that dresses this up a lot nicer. And then what I can do as well is we can grab some corner pieces and we can put these here like this. Awesome. So I think that looks a little bit better. Um, Alright, cool. So we have our stairs that come down here. We have a door that enters the midsection. We have some doors that enter the top section. And we also have some doors that enter the bottom section. And we're sticking with the theme of our build and using these stairs here. We can put some sensors here. And yeah, I think this is looking really good. So then what we can do is we can also put a door here. Um, I don't think I'll mess with that just yet. I need to kind of think about what I'm going to do with that area. Um, but I think what we can do is we can connect up these, because obviously these are our O2H2 generators. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and create some piping that goes through here 
and connects up to these O2H2 generators. So I think instead of going from this cargo container and across this way and through there, I think I'll use this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this block here. Uh, I'm going to grab my conveyors. Use tubes for this. We'll place a tube there like that. Place a tube there like that. Another tube like that. Place a conveyor here. Like that. And then we can run another tube from. We can run another tube from here. Unfortunately, the only issue is I can't, no. I suppose I can kind of get to that, so that's not too bad. Um, I can kind of weld that up if I want to, so it's not too big of a deal if I can't reach that. So I think that, that works quite well. So then I'll go ahead and I'll put another block there. I'll go back into this room. And while we're here, I think what I'll do is I'll actually add another couple of gyroscopes there. Um, because why not? So let's place another few gyroscopes. Cool. And I think that's looking pretty good. Alright, so just before we finish the episode, I think what I'll do is I'll show you guys what I was actually planning to do with the bridge and getting some air vents into the bridge. So, what we can do is if we make our way to the bridge, now, as I said before, I can take some conveyor tubes from under this floor and bring them up to this point and put some air vents in the bridge itself. And then I can separate it from the CIC down below um, so what I'll do is I'll just show you the um, spectator camera of the ship. So let's just go in through here. And if we have a look at where our hydrogen tanks are placed, and right now the camera is actually in the floor that is the bottom of the bridge. So what we can see here is that we have a port here and I can put a conveyor here and then I can put another conveyor there and then from there that will allow me to put a conveyor here. So let's enter into our characters view. Let's delete this block and let's delete that block and let's put in some conveyors. So. Let's go, let's orientate them the right way because of my OCD. And then what we can do is we can put our air vents um, like this. So we can put our air vents there. Now, the only problem is that it doesn't really give us much room to squeeze past there. So I think instead I will target these these front conveyor ports here. So let's go ahead and we'll remove all the hard work that we just done. So we will fill this back in with regular armor blocks. Number four. put block there and let's go into the floor let's delete this block let's delete that block and we'll put our conveyors back in in fact I'm going to make these this color because that kind of matches the bridge so let's do that and then we can put in our air vents Awesome. 
I think that looks pretty good. And to dress it up a little bit more, we can put one of these blocks in here. Uh, I think I will go like that. I'll put that block there like that. Now I could change this up a little bit. To be honest with you, it's not the prettiest looking thing, but it does allow us to have air in the bridge and then also keep it separate from the CIC so that if this um, bridge becomes depressurized, we can scoot on down here into the CIC and then we still have s some kind of pressurization. Yeah. So I think I will keep that for now. And then what I want to do, if we want to seal this off from the rest of the ship, I want to make it kind of not so obvious. So let's try this. And that gives us a little bit of space. We could put some of these corner pieces in. And I think actually what I might do to dress it up a little bit more is I might just chuck a couple of windows in here. Let's put it there. So, and then we can do is we can place our door there. Now it is only one door, um, but I think that will suffice for now. Um, and what I can do to make it kind of the same as the other side, so I can chuck this block here, like that. And then we can see past that. We still have a fair bit of room to place all of our control seats and all that sort of jazz. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So in the next episode, we're going to finish off this bridge. Um, also, I'm going to dress up the outside of the ship. And possibly what we will have time for is going through the ship and installing all the lighting throughout the ship um, because obviously that's quite an important thing um, yeah and I, I think it would certainly dress up the ship quite a bit um, these side pods look kind of boring and I'm not really loving the fact that these thrusters are the way that they are I would love for my ship to be very similar to the Atlas where we have some armor components that come down here and kind of bulk this area up a bit and make it a little bit more interesting than what it currently is. All right, guys. Well, thanks very much for watching and I will see you in episode five. Definitely consider liking and subscribing and I will see you in the next video. 